Welcome to SEC Business and Career Education, also known as the BCE Department. This short video will provide basic information on our services, but following up with the department is highly recommended each semester. Our department houses many programs from biotechnology to public works, and we are here today to let you know how we can help serve you along your educational journey. What would our civilization be like without water? Uh, what would our economy be like without water? People who work in these technologies have to be certified by the state of California. Our program is designed to give you the skills so that you're able to render water safe for human consumption and deal with it in a responsible fashion. I am so happy to be in a position that I'm helping people find their careers in the water industry. About half of our students are now online, and so we're drawing in students from all over the state of California. They tell me at the end of the semester that if it had not been for the class being offered in an online fashion, they may not have been able to take it at all. I remember when I started, I didn't know anything about it, but the professors there are very knowledgeable, and they taught me well. I was able to learn, get certified, and now I work for the city of Ontario. Well, as a person who started from the first class to where I'm at, it pays off. It's a really good career to follow. I work for a, a pump manufacturer, and honestly, I, I really love my job. The class I took at San Diego Canyon College was a good foundation. I feel we're incredibly lucky to have such a program in a place like Orange County where a lot of important world-class water resource management happen. The fact that it's in a central location to a lot of operators from many different backgrounds, I think it's a, it's a great resource to have. I'm proud to be an alumni. My name is Micah Pollock. I'm in the Surveying and Mapping Sciences program. I would like to be a professionally licensed land surveyor uh, here in California. So taking the classes here will really serve me better when I actually have to take that licensing exam. And it'll also help me get uh, the position I want within the surveying field, which is party chief. There's so many aspects to it. There's, there's the field aspect, there's the office side of it, and there's a good mix of both. Not a lot of uh, careers have that opportunity to actually be working outside and then have an office side too. Certain skills that you really should have uh, getting into surveying is, is math, trigonometry, uh, geometry. Uh, a loose understanding of legal aspects would help, uh, but there are a lot of people who can help you along the way. So right now in the state of California, uh, we're actually we're coming up to a crisis point um, because the average age of a licensed surveyor is I think a little over 55. And right now we don't have the surveyors in training to really fill their shoes. Um, so we need to basically start equipping, empowering, and educating the next generation or else we're going to have a huge demand that we're just not going to be able to fill. The certificate actually lines up with a couple different avenues. Um, you can either start working as a survey technician in the field, um, you can be working as a survey mapper in the office, but then there's other applications. There's um, just a whole geospatial uh, career path out there that you can even branch out from survey. There, there's always job opportunities. Ever since I started this program, 
every time I've gone to class, they put up on the whiteboard saying, here's some opportunities, go out and get it. And, and I've, I've seen guys and, and girls come into class saying, hey, I just got a job over the weekend because of what you put on the board. All of our adjunct professors, they work full time in the industry. So you're not just getting a, a textbook answer. You're actually getting the combination of theory and practice. If you're looking for something that's, that's not going to really challenge the way you think um, and, and help you become a better critical thinker, then this program is probably not for you. But if you're really looking for that challenge that's going to help you become a critical thinker, a problem solver, um, you will learn skills here that just don't apply to surveying, but that will apply to every area of your life.